Hello world, I want to introduce you to an important man. His name is Mr. Tano Corpe. He is the president of a company called Kronos, based here in Turkey, providing services to the 23rd Summer Deaf Olympic Games in the information technology space. For this event to be able to run smoothly, they're responsible for many different services. And I'm very happy that you're here to be able to join us this morning for the interview, Mr. Corbe. Thank you. Great, well done, thank you very much. So, my first question I'd like to ask is, can you explain to us more about your company, uh, Kronos, and your involvement in providing services to the, these 23rd Deaf Olympic Games in Samsung? Sure, happily. <coughs> Kronos is uh, one of the biggest IT companies in Turkey and listed in IT500. IT500 is the list of uh, top largest IT companies in Turkey. Decided with a consideration of the volume of projects which are related to information technology business. We are working on uh, energy area, sport and defense areas, but our main concentration is to find the best way of using information technologies in our daily life. So, uh, for that reason, we try to figure out how we can use uh, information technologies to help authorities to execute sports events uh, in a uh, most efficient manner. With this motivation, we have created uh, our sports informatics department and we have developed a number of valuable software solutions for those events. Kronos uh, became an experienced company day by day uh, since we have many successful game event uh, experiences and references. In this event, uh, Death Olympics uh, event in Samsung, we are doing timing and scoring uh, solutions, software broadcasting, uh, live broadcasting, large LED screens, sound systems we installed, and field operation, overall game project management, uh, accreditation, and uh, of course network and internet. But uh, our internet and network system does not cover the uh, Olympic Village side, Village is the Ministry's duty. However, uh, we are helping them uh, to improve the services there, uh, as we do for many other requests coming from them, because we are here to help. If I come back to your question uh, about Deaf Olympics, Deaf Olympics is uh, really a different experience for us, and it was uh, really wonderful to be uh, here. This is a very special event with a number of new conditions involved in the process. Some of them are really new for us too. So uh, we have 21 sports here, uh, more than 3,500 uh, deaf athletes, and the whole world is invited. It's like an uh, Olympic scale event. It is actually an uh, Olympic scale event. So I can easily say that we need to and we had to do much more uh, than a regular Olympic events, worldwide Olympic events. If this is the case, uh, it's not wrong to say that the Philippines events are bigger than regular Olympic events or uh, harder than regular Olympic events because we need to add some additional services uh, while we are doing the same services with an uh, Olympic event. So uh, I believe that uh, we are doing a tough job in uh, the Olympics. Yes, that's impressive, so much of the information you shared with me. It's very interesting. And the work you do is a very important uh, job and it's a very heavy responsibility. My next question to you, Mr. Corpe, is the Sheraton Hotel here in Samsung. Uh, when you go through the front door and the entrance, you see in the foyer the beautiful big LED uh, television screen. How did you come up with that idea? Please tell me more. A uh, good one, thank you. Um, as I told you, we are just trying to help and uh, to do our best to help LOC and ICST. 
Uh, actually, I get many uh, thanks and uh, fr from anyone in the lobby or from the members, ICAC or LOC uh, about that screen. Actually, it's a small thing for us, but uh, it's uh, as I see, it's something good. Uh, when I heard that Sheraton uh, will be an uh, official delegation hotel, uh, I just told about how we can make difference to add value uh, to, to the event. And uh, although this is not our contractual uh, obligation, I decided to be a sponsor uh, to bring a large screen video led uh, to let all members to follow games and fields from their hotel lobby. Uh, I thought it will be wonderful because uh, they can uh, they they should, don't need to go visit those sites, but they can observe it from their hotel. So uh, I believe uh, if I made them happy with this uh, solution, I'm happier for achieving my target, uh, which is adding value. Well, uh, adding value uh, to the definitely big games and athletes is greatly appreciated by all of us. Thank you for this added value contribution. Now I'd like to move on to the next question. At previous summer and winter Deaf Olympic Games, there have been new innovations, <coughs> uh, new applications that have come to the fore. But I understand here, there's a new innovation that you have provided. Can you tell us more about that? Sure, uh, thank you for reminding this. Uh, we did many special uh, things for uh, this special event but probably the most important one is the mobile application we have created you can get any information about games venues and competitions uh, using this application you can even follow the games by live broadcast links uh, in the application the special thing in this application is integrated call center uh, availability it is uh, specifically uh, designed for deaf people. You can reach a guy uh, speaking sign language uh, with one click in a minute. System just establishes a video call in seconds for your convenience and our guy uh, will be waiting for you there to help. As you say, it, it was the uh, first time uh, we put in uh, our application uh, forever. Right. So to clarify, this application uh, is a phone app. And I don't want to say this is amazing. I myself work in the media with the ICSD team, and I have tried it myself. I've never used this before. In the past, I had to go to get different pieces of information from different people. Now, with Wi-Fi accessibility, all the information is available instantly, including medal tallies. Uh, results of games, times of different events. You're right, this is a first. We've never had anything like this in the past. And I hope that future Deaf Olympic Games also have this technology, because you have set the standard and the bar very high. And I want to continue to see this technology in the future. So for this, thank you. I thank you. Actually, I didn't go through the technical details of this application, but I understand that uh, you are a good user of that application and you uh, explain everything better than me. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, thank you, but you're very good at explaining as well the technology too. Now, my final question to you is, uh, the Deaf Olympics uh, to date, your involvement, your company's involvement, the Deaf Olympic Games, the work itself, the relationship, and the new experiences that you've had Tell me one of the new experiences that you've had that have given you new thought and new inspiration. Yeah, you reserved the hardest question at last, I guess. Uh, because you can understand me, I cannot list all of them, uh, since it's a really uh, beautiful experience for us, uh, working with you, helping uh, to you, and there are many uh, new technologies we involve. So there are so many experiences that cannot be listed in a couple of statements. But I can share some major points for you. In fact, uh, we had vital, uh, three vital uh, issues uh, during the games. And uh, those are affected our process uh, of uh, Deaf Olympics and those values are gained back from 
uh, definitely speaks to us, our company, as a uh, lifetime experience. We, uh, those three uh, issues are, uh, let me uh, just list first. First one is uh, fan zone, the second one is TOC, and the third one is uh, let's screen with uh, sign language. And let me say a couple of words for each. Fan zone. We have created an outstanding uh, accreditation process here, uh, supported by our software. We put a fun zone in that process, at the beginning of the accreditation process. In that fun zone, uh, our guests, uh, while they are waiting for their accreditation badge, uh, they enjoy their time, their waiting time. So uh, there are many games, movie theater, and uh, like office working environment, charging uh, deck stations, and internet uh, connected computers. Although uh, Olympic Games, regular Olympic Games, uh, gives waiting time for accreditation process was around two or three hours, we set our target to maximum 45 minutes. Uh, but most of the time, our guests didn't want to leave Panzo because they are having so much fun there. Uh, but it's okay for us uh, since they are happy. And TOC, uh, TOC, we, we add some new uh, uh, options on uh, TOC. TOC is technical operations center where we watch and inspect all fields, network software, and functions with uh, system functions with failover uh, capabilities, and to take proactive actions if there's a problem. And uh, we are monitoring whole system from the fields uh, instantly and uh, for 24 hours. And let's screens with sign language. It's again uh, special to this event. We always have uh, let's screens, but in this time uh, we put uh, on the corner uh, simultaneously uh, translating the sign language uh, all the time for each. Uh, LED screens. Uh, it is uh, specific to this uh, event. Also, uh, we have sound systems on field, uh, but our sound system should be again specific to deaf uh, people and uh, should be in some level of uh, frequency or uh, level of the volume. Uh, I don't want to go into technical terms, but it is uh, all for you and uh, specific to uh, ICSD. Wow, truly impressive again. Thank you for sharing all that information. Our experience with your experience, old and new coming together, I feel as though it's been a very uh, rewarding and successful exchange. Deaf people and hearing people working together in close cooperation. Would you agree? Uh, sure. <laughs> how, how can I uh, decline that? It is uh, really uh, wonderful and uh, we are always, we will be here uh, for that. Thank you for this nice conversation and uh, you for your energy actually. And, uh, I, I feel really comfortable for that and uh, you add my points and you uh, bring any topic to go forward uh, by you. And thank you, thank you very much. I, I hope I can have more opportunities to uh, work for uh, Definitics in the near future. Yes, likewise. I'd like to thank you for your time coming here for this interview and also for the work that you and your company have done. ICSD pays our respects to you for everything that you've done for these definitely big games. And for your future projects, we want to wish you well and every success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.